Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am coming to you with the last days of summer collaboration called Out With a Bang. It's in partnership with Junk Journal Ideas and Inspiration Facebook group. And it is hosted by Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors and Julie from Julie's Paper Craft. If you don't already belong to the um, Facebook group, Drunk Journal Ideas and Inspiration, I highly suggest that you do. They're a wonderful group, wonderful creators, tons of inspiration, and Mandy, both Mandy and um, Justine from House of Mahalo run a fabulous, fabulous group. They have just, a, they're a great team. Julie from Julie's Paper Craft has designed a beautiful gladiola kit, which I have unfortunately been able to, unable to print. I have been able to print Mandy's from Sunflowers Indoors. We've had terrible um, tropical storm, which put out our internet for several days. And unfortunately right now my internet is out again. And um, it's 6.30 a.m. So I'm hoping and praying that sometime this morning the internet will come back up. If it doesn't, I will put this up as soon as it comes back. And then however long it takes to post. So um, anyway, I am doing basically, um, well, my partner today is, um, I'm Cheryl. Um, for those of you who don't know, and um, welcome to anybody that's new. And um, I am with Anna today from Pink Monarch Prints. Our prompt is Reflections. And um, I'm going to show you some things that I have created for this prompt. And then I will um, create a few things with you. Okay? So let me move this out of the way. Um, we are on day 11. And I will put all the information in order for you to um, locate um, the uh, collaboration. If you go to your YouTube, you know, the little hourglass, um, and type in hashtag JJII out with a bang, which I will also put in the description box below, um, and then you'll be able to see all of the collaborators that have taken part so far and any future collaborators, okay? It runs all the way until the 31st of the month. Mandy kicked it off with a fabulous, joyful, joyful was her prompt, and she made a box, and it is available um, in her Facebook group. I've already um, started making mine. <laughs> they are fabulous. Thank you very much, Mandy. And thank you, Mandy, very much for the invitation to join the collaboration. Okay, let's get started. So um, what I've done for my prompt is I made a small journal, which I make a monthly journal anyway. And my monthly journals are always pretty small. Well, I like to make small journals anyway, but this journal, my monthly journals are always small anyway. And... Um, so ironically, <laughs> I have taken a kit from Pink Monarch Kits, um, which I had in my collection. Um, I buy her folios because they're so versatile. You can use them for junk journals. You can use them as um, part of your journal, you know, to put inside your journal. Um, you can do so many things with them. So that's why I've used this to make um, my monthly journal and I've used her other pro um, her other folios to make journals as well um, this one I can't remember the name of it but um, uh, it might be the poppies one but I'm not positive don't quote me I'll leave it in the description box below I'll have to go through my files um, but anyway you can get the folio itself I've altered mine um, it's not exactly the same, but the base of it is the same. Okay, so um, what I've done is, um, and I'll tell you why I, I make small journals for my monthly journals, because I like to journal on small spaces. Anytime I have, a, you know, a large sheet to journal on, such as this, I get very lost. <laughs> it's just too much to write. 
So um, anyway, you open it up like this. And um, like I said, the basic construction of the journal is from the kit, which goes like this. It's, this is the folio, okay? Now I did add pockets on the outside here, but this is how it's constructed, okay? So let's start with it back together. And um, I've just added some satin ribbon. So um, here are some pockets. There are some gold pockets, but um, I had just had some scraps of this, so I added those. And in here, these are from the Poppies kit. They are just um, little fussy cuts, and I embellished those with some um, Nouveau drops. Okay, so I'll put that there. And then um, here is um, a new kit that Raindrop Lila just came out with. It's one of her newest releases, and it's called Whispers, I think Whispers of the Past or Whispers of Something. I'll leave it in the description box if you're interested. This is printed on photo paper. And I put reflect meaningful moments. I have boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of these. Well, not, I've got four. <laughs> I'm trying to take Mandy's boxes, which this is one of her boxes. I put one of the photos on because I do have those photos, which was so fun. And um, I added my photos that I had already cut up in here and also some of my own photos. Um, and then some of the embellishments are in here as well because that's what I put on the top here. And this is from her, um, this is from the top is not the topper that comes with this particular one. Um, this is from the grunge kit, which I had started using for a different project, which I'll show in a different journal, in, in a different video. And I've also created this one out of her blank one to keep my uh, words and sentiments in, some of them, just to kind of separate them out. And that's what I intend on doing with a lot of these boxes is separating them out from my, like my faith um, and um, prayer and my, um, you know, just different, you know, ones that I have gardening and, you know, what have you sentiments. And then I'll keep them all in a box and I'll label them and keep them right on my shelf so I have them. Right now I have them in um, tins or plastic boxes like that. But I really, really, really love these boxes. So thank you so much, Julie. So you open it up and this is why I make my smaller journals because I like to journal on smaller cards. And typically what I'll do is I will use um, just tea stained three and a half by five cards and um, I'll decorate them and um, in the mornings I'll decorate them I'll put a sentiment on them um, sometimes I'll add fabrics or what have you after I do my daily reading and so but I had some scraps left over from a faith journal I'm in the process of making as well I've got four projects going which is kind of ridiculous but you know it happens so um, for this one, um, I had already started journaling on this. So um, I added um, some moments last forever because it went very well with what I had written on the 1st of August. And um, I added some fabrics and lace and a button, which I had already made this. I make these all the time and keep them in a box. And um, I added this. Um, to go with this. Now this is from the same kit. Well, there's two kits. There's the black and white and then there's the color. This is on uh, photo matte paper and this is on the gloss paper. And the same thing with this one. I haven't decorated it yet, but this was August 2nd and I'll put a sentiment on it. I'll probably decorate it with fabric as well. And that goes inside there. And I usually do lace because it will hold my a lot of my cards. And I have 31 cards always in my monthly journals. And um, 
So then there's a pocket here, which I don't know what happened to everything that was in it. I guess, I think this goes in here. This was one of the frames that Mandy has, which looks like similar to this. It's not this one, but it's another one. Um, and I just put one of those joyful photos on and put best memories. And you can write on the back of that. So that'll go back inside there. Hmm. I don't know. I got everything mixed up. Oh, the you know what? The little envelopes go in there, but it doesn't matter. So I did some envelopes and I stamped the insides. And, you know, you can put whatever you wanted in there. And that goes in there. There we go. I think we're straight now. And the other envelope goes in there as well. And in here, I just have some more sentiments and flashcards, which I use of Lydia's all the time. Anybody that knows me or follows me, they're almost an addiction. I lined it again. This was just paper, so I lined it with the background sheet from the kit, from Mandy's kit. And they are 50% off. I will leave all that information in the link below. So this slides right in here as well. And then on this side is some little embellishments from Mandy's kit and a tag that I had. Um, well, it's not a tag, but it's scrap. And I added that inside this pocket. Then you open it up and I put some pockets in here. Um, Mandy's pocket uh, pockets from her kit. And these are photos um, of my in-laws. My father-in-law kept beautiful scrapbooks and I'm deconstructing them because they are very tattered. And um, so I am going to be placing these on some of my journaling cards and journaling about them. This is my sister-in-law, Caroline. This is 80 years old. Um, and she's picking dandelions. So I thought that was perfect. These are all summer photos that were taken. This is John's grandmother with Caroline and John's mom with Caroline. And so it's just a great thing to add to your journals, um, you know, family photos or any photos actually. And then up here, I have another journaling card, which I haven't do, done anything with yet, but I will be as the month goes on. And um, so that closes like this with a little Velcro dot. And open up this side and we have this. And this is a theory, little girl, and um, she's looking at her reflection in the water. And so on the back, I put quiet reflections. Um, I do use um, drywall spackle for my um, spackle stenciling. And sometimes I'll paint it depending on my mood in the morning. I haven't written on this yet because that's as far as I got that morning. <laughs> so, and then this is from Mandy's kit. I did use some spackle there. I like to paint it. It's calming and I don't know if I've done, I did do some spackling on that. Sometimes I did do some spackling on that and I haven't written anything on there yet. And they go in here. And then in here <clears throat> I have, um, this was three tags, but I just folded it so I could make more journaling space and pretty much like hidden journaling space. So what I'll do is I'll put a little, um, you know, probably some fabric or some lace or maybe a ribbon here with a grommet to make it look like a tag. But in fact, you'll be able to open it and have plenty of journaling space. And it can be hidden journaling space if you so choose. If somebody were going through your journal, they wouldn't know that it was there. And then here are some tags from the kit which I have cut is this one and this one and this one. And these are from the Poppy's kit. There's the Poppy's kit and then there's the uh, grunge Poppy kit, which I love both. The navy blues and the grunge Poppy kit are absolutely gorgeous. So then those will just slide in one of these pockets. And then um, our family <clears throat> loves the beach and um, we only live a mile from the beach. 
now in South West Florida, but even in um, 1999, when we moved here, we lived about 45 minutes from the beach. And when we lived in Plymouth, we only lived three miles from the beach. So I have a lot of beach memories to look back on. So I've got this journaling card, which I did spackle on the back. And then I put that photo on this journaling card. I haven't done anything to the back yet. This says, see memories. I just glued that on there because I don't know, she's with a little dolly and she's, it just reminds me of my children on the beach. And then um, in here is just um, a flower that I had picked and dried and some other flowers that I have. So that goes in there and I'll write about the memories of that flower that I picked and maybe some memories about the beach. Or maybe I'll put that someplace else. I stuck that in there not to lose it, but I think I'll put that someplace else because that's for beach memories and I can stick paper in there. So if I run out of journaling space, I have this to continue my journaling, if that makes sense. And then here was July 5th, August 5th. And that's very apropos for that as well. So I didn't put a sentiment or anything on there yet. But it's just plenty of journaling space for me, you know, for what I want to write. I don't like to write pair, you know, novels, although I talk in novels. <laughs> In here, this is part of the kit, but it's printed on different paper. I like to print on all different papers. The paper is this color. It's like a, a sort of, it's sort, 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 it sort of has like a glimmer to it. And it's like a goldish, a very, very gold, not real gold color, but it's a gold color. And so when you print on it, it gives this really pretty sheen and it's just, um, it tones it down. So, for example, um, instead of it being like this, it gives it more of a toned down look. So I do love printing on this. It's one of my favorite papers to print on. And I just get it on Amazon. And then um, this I printed on vellum and placed it on one of the frames. And then these are some more journaling cards, but they're postcards. So these will be fun to journal on as well. Maybe just um, um, scripture or a poem or poetry. I like to write poetry and I love poetry. I love to read. So sometimes I'll just write things, you know, um, maybe perhaps a book I was reading and some lines from the book that really meant something to me. And they just go right in there. And that doesn't go there. This goes here. <laughs> so that's my little journal that I made. And it just closes up. And then I made a few other things, and I'll show you one thing. I just have to keep checking my camera here. I've had some problems with it, with the battery. I don't know what's going on. So I need to keep checking that. And this is just a satin ribbon. They're easy to tie. And I always just kind of make a knot right here and make it look like a little rosebud. And the same thing with the back. And here it says poppies of all the blithem blossoms that in the garden grow the brightest and the and the gladdest the poppies are i throw <laughs> so i love that and that came from a different kit that i've had for a while i did a design team project for that kit so that's that and then over here are some things that i made so it's more of a show and tell than a because you've all made a lot of these things. So um, this is just a paper bag. I did some fussy cutting out of some scraps and um, put a little age tape there, put beautiful here. And then this is part of a collage page 
um, that Julie has. I mean that um, um, Mandy. And um, I just glued the collage page here and then I put some glossy accents here to make it look like I placed it there, but I didn't. So that's that. And then on the paper bag, I just fussy cut out of part of the collage. The collage is like my favorite page. I think I used it four times. And then just put some age tape there and some glossy accents on the bag. And the same thing with this one, only I haven't put anything in it yet. Maybe a journaling card or another tag, I'm not sure. So those are those. And then here, I used another frame. And instead of cutting it out, I just put some roses there from my garden and put garden moments, which I will write on the back about our tropical storm and how it completely ruined my rose plants and how I have to plant new ones. <laughs> And then this one, I just put her because she's just so joyful. Oh, I was going to put some age tape there. Hold on one second. Let me just get a piece here. And um, I fussy cut this and I put the small details because she is so small. Make sure this isn't too big. It might be. No, that's fine. But I like to put the age tape you know, like over the little branch there. It looks cute. Might just take a bit of that off to not hide that small details there. There we go. See, it just gives it just that little bit of added touch. So, and I may put some glossy acts, I mean, some Nouveau drops there. I don't know. I think it looks fine just the way it is. And then <clears throat> this I lined with one of the backing sheets and did this um, flower here, which I got in North Carolina when my husband and I took a road trip. And it says blossom, and I'll write about our road trip on there. And then um, here is just, um, I fussy cut this out and I put this little rose petal from my garden on that card. Let's see. I think that's it. Um, for this, I was just about ready to make a pocket. I got these from Tracy Fox as well. And... Um, I use these a lot, they're specimen cards, but if you don't have a dried flower, these are perfect because all you have to do is add a little bit of something, you know, either Nouveau Drops, a glossy accents, or nothing at all, and then I add a little age tape there on that one and that one. And then I'm just going to add this pocket right here from a scrap, and then I'll probably put a sentiment or something there. And this one is Poppy. So I printed that one. This sheet. I think it comes four or sheet. I don't remember. Yes, it does. Or maybe it comes with six. I don't remember. This one, Forget Me Not, because I love the Forget Me Nots. So they'll go in there. And I'll put a sentiment or something up there. And you'll still be able to journal on the back, even though it's a pocket. You know, you could do a pocket in a pocket if you wanted to, but it will be in that journal so it won't go in a pocket. I mean, it won't it won't get glued down, is what I'm saying. Okay, so most of those you've already made. If you don't have dried flowers, you can by all means use stickers. So let me just show you real quick. I could actually just take this sticker out maybe and it would fit but it really wouldn't go very well. So let's try some more. I don't have a lot of floral stickers, but we'll see what we can do here. So you could maybe do something like here. Well, let's just, let's take our time here for a second. Where am I in time? I'm already at 34 and I wanted to show you one more thing. 
Um, let's see. Let's try the green. But yeah, that will look good. So you could do something like that. And then possibly add something like this. Or maybe, maybe I should have moved that a little bit to the, could do, well, hold on one second. That looks good. And let's see if there's another one for the other side. Oh, I love this actually. And <laughs> now that it's together. Hold on. I'm trying to make it even. But you could do something like this. Okay, and then you could just add a sentiment. Now the other two I did put some um, packaging over it, but you don't have to, and I'm going to sew around it. I just haven't yet. Um, you don't have to sew around it, I just do. I just like the look. And I think with this one as well, I'll sew around it. And like I said, you don't have to, the glue's not going to come off. Um, and you can't see the glue, the glue, you know, dry clear. I did use the Beerly Arts, um, and it seems to work very, very well, you know, with packaging. I don't know about acetate. You might have to use something stronger than the Beerly Arts, but it does disappear and it looks very nice. So you don't really have to sew around it. I didn't get all the glue underneath here. Um, and I can do it later. But I knew I was going to be sewing it, so I didn't really pay much attention. So now I can write about this trip that we took. You know, just a short little men memento. Um, you know, a reflection of this time where I picked the flower in North Carolina. I do have it written down. And, um, you know, where we were headed. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be lengthy just enough for me to remember and reflect on, okay? So that's that. This just reminds me of my grandchildren when they were small. So I'll probably write something about them during the summer. This especially reminds me of Ella and she's nine now. So that's why I chose that page. And then, um, yeah, so that's that. And actually, now that I think about it, I could actually put this little envelope inside here, you know, and then write about that. Write about getting that, those flowers along with that. And that would be nice. Okay. So you've made, uh, I'm sure everybody's made those before, so I don't need to, you know, go into great detail with those. So the one thing I did want to show you, though, is something that I don't know if any of you have made. And if you have, great. And if you haven't, then you could stay and watch. But um, I like to have small dishes on my desk, and I send these for gifts. I just sent out three, actually, uh, to um, a pen pal in the Netherlands, but rather than have this big, I like to keep this in my closet, in my back stock, and just keep my paper clips in small dishes, or my pins, or my safety pins, or what have you, and they're there, you know, rather than have this big, I don't have a big desk, so um, I'll do small dishes, and um, since it's summer and we collected lots of shells, I have thousands. I have huge, huge jars underneath the table filled. So as you can imagine. So um, I've already painted the gold paint just to save time. So I just used, um, it's a matte pure gold and that's what I use on the shell. I suppose you could get a gloss 
but this is what I have. So this is what I use. And I make these all the time. I make them with napkins and they end up looking almost like hand painted. So this is done on tracing paper, which I was kind of thinking that I might, these are done on tracing paper too. So I was thinking maybe of doing one of these instead because I think that would look kind of neat. If it will fit, I think I might do it like possibly this bottle because, you know, the, the bottle, the sand, kind of looks pretty cool. So let me see if that will fit. And if it will, great. And if it won't, I'll use one of the canning jars. This is from Mandy's kit as well. And these are the fussy cuts on tracing paper. It's a heavier weight tracing paper. It goes through my printer with no problem. And you can even do things like this. I mean, I wouldn't do probably that bottle, but I'm just giving you an example of things that you can do. All my scraps. Sorry. I think that's gonna fit fine. Let me just cut it around a little bit. I just love how this looks sort of like sand down here and I just noticed it. So I think I will try and fit this in this little shell. And of course I could have picked a bigger shell, but <laughs> I didn't really think about it much. I just wanted to show you how fun they are on your desk. And, um, you know, it's a great memory and, um, you know, I can look at it and reflect back on the collaboration and also on my summer of going and collecting things on the beach. I love to walk the beach and collect treasures. Shells, rusted items are my favorite because shells, well, we have a lot. <laughs> We've been collecting them for 49 years now, almost 49. So I just kind of trim that out. And you could use paper by all means. You don't have to use tracing paper, but I usually use napkin. So I just thought the tracing paper would be nice. You know, it'd be easy to put onto it, onto the shell. I mean, paper will go on the shell for sure, but I thought it would look nice like that. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, I love that. Let me just trim it up just a little bit on the bottom. I really want to keep as much of the sand or whatever that is in the bottom because it just looks great. And let me just trim this up a little bit and see how that looks. Is that fitting okay? I might have to cut the sand out, but the sand in the background so I might have to go ahead and type that off, which I'll do. And this is only gonna take a second longer because all we have to do is put it on. And that's fabulous. So I just use a glue stick. I could use Mod Podge, you can use matte medium, you can use anything you want, but I just find the glue stick works really well both on the napkin now, with a napkin, I'll put the glue right on the shell. With the tracing paper, I'll put it right on the tracing paper. And it just looks so nice on your desk with, with any kind of napkin or, or anything, but that just looks fantastic. I am so pleased with that. So then you just push it in there and that just gives me something to reflect on. The collaboration, the poppies, you know, the end of summer. And um, the shell, collecting shells. Now I'm pretty sure this isn't a shell we got this year, but it could have been. It was on top of one of the jars. So I'm thinking probably but it really doesn't matter. Just want to make sure that's in there. And then what I do is really push it hard to get it in those lines. And that's why it's good to use either a very, very lightweight paper, 
if you're going to do this with paper or tracing paper or a napkin because you want to push it right into there so it looks like it was almost painted if you will okay and then you can just put your matte medium or what have you right over that and it kind of just blends it all in which I don't have my matte medium out so I'm not going to do that on camera but I will and it will if you just now you could do something and cover that whole shell if you wanted to but I really like the way this is coming out and I think I've missed some glue there I'm very happy with this and you know you've got your you know almost like um what am I trying to think of like a note in a bottle that somebody would have thrown into the ocean only it's flowers oh I have an idea I think I know what I want to do instead of the map medium let me just push this down a little bit more into those grooves so it's all in those grooves. That's like what you really want to do. I mean, you don't have to, but it's how I like it. I think it looks, it looks good like that. But I think what I'm going to do is, do I have enough glue under that? Yeah, I do. It's going in there. I'm going to kind of use my nail. It's not very long. And that's it. But I just thought maybe it would look good if, see how it looks like there's some water there inside that bottle? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Nuvo drops. I'm not going to do the flowers, but I'm going to put some water here. Now you only need a drop of Nuvo drops or any kind of drops that you're using, just a drop. And then spread that around. And that will give it like a little bit of a dimension. And also it will make that look like water in that vase or actually bottle with a little cork on the top. Perfect. I love how things like that happen. You know, you're thinking of something completely different and you end up with something fabulous. Well, for me, it's fabulous. I might put a little bit here on this. Oops, that came out too fast, but that's all right. I will take my bottle now if I get too much and I'm going to like kind of dab that so that it won't be so much. I'll push it actually before it dries into that bottle of water that I'm trying to achieve. There we go. And if you happen to get any bubbles, just take a pin and put a pin in it in the bubble or just tap it. This is almost Actually, I keep saying it's almost empty, but it just never empties. It's like the ongoing bottle. It just never empties. <laughs> I don't know why. That is so nice. I'm really happy with that. And if you wanted to, another thing you could add. Let me see where we are. We have one second left. I'm going to add a pearl to it. Because I just think it looks good. It's kind of fun. And then once that's dry, you can put your, um, <clears throat> you can put your, um, for this, I think I will use my art glitter glue because that's pretty strong. It's just a bead, a tiny bead. Did I do with the cap? It doesn't matter. Find it in a minute. Oops. Hold 
hold on one second. I haven't used my art glitter glue in forever because I'm hooked on the Bailey Arts. There we go. I'm with my bead. And I'm just going to put this little pearl right there. Like I said, it's just a little bead, but if I hold it for a second, it should stay. And like I said, the art glue glue really holds it good. You could use E7000, which I have, but it's not right here. And I may end up using that to keep that pearl on. It's called E7000. It's like, um, well, it's E7000. It's like for jewelry and things like that, which I'll probably use because I don't know if that will stay forever with the art glitter glue. But to give you an idea, that's what it will look like. Oh, no, it's not staying. Or I'm playing with it too much, which I do. But that's what it will look like. And then once the once the Nuvo drops dry, I can then put my little paper clips in it. So that is it for today. And I pray that my internet comes back up sometime today and the video goes up okay. But here's some different things you can make with the kit. Um, and a monthly journal for your, for the prompt, for my prompt today, which was reflect or reflection. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Reflections. Same thing. <laughs> so there's just some things. I've made more, but I just... I, I'm going to save them for another video. Um, I ju it's just too many things. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that video. And I hope that I will return again soon. And until then, be well, be safe, and um, be kind. And God bless everybody. Bye. And I'll get this up as soon as I can. Okay. Bye, everybody.